Hey, I'm Janelle Cruzina, and I was on Big Brother 6 and Big Brother All Stars. Congratulations, Janelle. I hold the record for most competition wins in a season. Five powers of vetoes and four HOHs. All right, Janelle, number four. What yes. makes you come back for more with number four? Well, the only reason I did decide to come back is because it's an all-stars cast, which is super fun because I played in the very first all-stars and I know that, you know, the producers have a lot in store for us. So it was very <laughs> exciting for, to hear that it was all-stars. So I said, yes. You said they have a lot of store in store for us. A bit ominously, a bit fearfully, what do you think is in store for you? Well, it's usually just a bigger, like the first all-stars that I played, I remember everything was just a little bit bigger. like. You know, the HOHs were a little bit more extravagant. There was just, it was just a, it was just a, like a big bang. There was just a lot more to the show. How much do you want to finally win one or do you not care anymore? I absolutely want to win, obviously. I wouldn't come back if, you know, my head and heart wasn't in it to win it. But this time I actually just want to have a ton of fun with it too. Anybody who you're excited to see, nervous to see? Um, so I don't know who the cast is, but I would love to see anyone that I've worked with before or been in alliance with, um, anyone that I've played with before that I could potentially have like a little secret alliance with. Knowing this was all stars, your mind had to wander. Who would you hope to see to form an alliance with and who, if you see them there, are you going to be like, oh crap. <laughs> I would 100% form an alliance with Dan. If he doesn't win Big Brother 14, it's an absolute travesty. <laughs> so are you saying that Dan was um, the greatest player in this game in 14 seasons of the game? No. I would say that Dan's hands down one of the best players of all time. I've played with him before. He's one of the best to ever play the game. So I would love to see Dan in the house. Um, some other players, some big players like Danny Donato, I know that she's like a beast in comps. So if she were in the house, I would definitely, I feel like I could work with her. Okay. So uh, you were on the first All-Star season. How much of a leg up does that give you going into this next one, having played All-Stars before? So I've played All-Stars before. I also believe that I have more experience than anyone because I played, this will be my fourth time. <laughs> so I have a ton, I'm like as veteran as veteran can get. So I definitely have a leg up on the competition because I've played so many different seasons. There's so many different scenarios. There's only 10 and 11, and then there's three sleeping bags. Shake them. So you're gonna have somebody sleep on a floor with no, with nothing? What do you mean? I don't know, we'll figure it out later. What strategy are you heading in with? Are you changing things up at all? Going in with something new based on your experience or sticking with what works? So I'm obviously gonna stick with what works for strategy, but I mean, as far as what I'm gonna do, you know, completely strategy wise, I need to see who's in the house. I don't know who's in there. So it really depends on what players they put in the house for me to potentially work with. I mean, one thing that is different, of course, is uh, there's never been any season of Big Brother in the middle of a global pandemic. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So how much do you think that affects the game? How much does it affect people mentally, emotionally, physically? I mean, I think being a pandemic definitely affects people emotionally and mentally. They might be thinking, you know, what's going on in the world? Is my family okay? Hopefully their head's not all the way in it. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, you guys already know what quarantine is like. The rest of the world figured out a little bit what it's like to be yes. in this house. Yes. <laughs> I have, have you talked about that with people in your life? Like, are they telling you, wow, I finally kind of understand what it must be like to be in the house? I mean, I think I sent out a tweet like early on, like day two of the stay at home order. And I think my tweet said something like, oh yeah, throw me in a house with no phone. I mean, I play big brother for fun. <laughs> this is fun for me. Like, I love it. I mean, look, usually you guys are heading into the house having been living life and spending normal days with family and friends and all that. Now everybody's coming off of months in lockdown, yes. of being tested, of being sequestered after testing. Where are people's heads going to be at? I mean, I think mentally a lot of people might not be as strong because they've been locked down for so long. 
I mean, truly, I am an introvert by nature. So for me, I absolutely love quarantine. I love being locked away. It makes me mentally stronger than ever. I've got all the tips for winning. If you're mentally stronger than ever, how cutthroat are you getting this time around? So this time around, I want to play super cutthroat because it's my last hurrah. So I want to go out with a bang. Okay. Does going out with a bang <laughs> mean winning? Yes, definitely winning is in my hopefully future. And are you putting this on the record? You would never play again, even if you were asked back after now? I would never. I, I said that before, though. I said that before. <laughs> I did say that before. I didn't think they'd call me back. So um, I was shocked. I was like, oh, wow, OK. Uh, well, just... what was your reaction when you got that call? Why do you think they did call you back? Well, it's so funny because I did the Amazing Race two summers ago, and a lot of the women got eliminated early on because we weren't, you know, obviously as strong as the men. And I remember Rachel Riley saying, oh my gosh, I, if there's an all-stars cast, like I cannot wait to do it. I want to play so bad. And she was like, Brittany, would you do it? Brittany said, no. And then she was like, Janelle, would you? And I said, no, I wouldn't. So at that time, two years ago, I would have said no, but I'm in a different place in life now. Since doing Big Brother, I've gotten married and I've had a baby. Oh, she just threw up on me. I'm the real housewife of Minnesota. Things change. I'm in a totally different place. My kids are a little bit older too. So I don't have that on, you know what I mean? Like they're a that little bit older. They're, yeah, they're not like little, little. You are this beloved player from the franchise and you have a house guest who look up to you. What do you think it'll be like for you to interact with people who might idolize you? Do you just get savage with them and use that to your <laughs> advantage? I mean, here's the thing. I have, for the longest time, had such a great relationship with any alumni that I come in contact with. So for the most part, every person has, you know, viewed me as super positive. Like, oh my gosh, no, we love you. I mean, I've sent baby shower gifts. I've been to weddings. So I know there's a, hopefully a lot of people in the house that I could potentially work with that they could, they look up to me. Any concerns about uh, competing with people from more recent seasons? I feel like, the house guests that were on a more recent season may have a little bit leg up on some of the older players from years past because the competitions have changed quite dramatically. Um, they're more glitchy, they're more gamey, there's more lights, there's more action. They're more physical than ever. Um, so, and I think the game moves a lot faster because there's more competitions now. Like I'm used to a ton of downtime and I think the people that are from newer seasons are used to a faster paced game. What's it gonna be like to step back into the house to see Julie? Is it emotional? Is it triggering? <laughs> I think stepping into the Big Brother house for me is my second home. I absolutely love playing the game. I put my heart into it and I get excited seeing Julie. I get excited seeing the house. I already know which bedroom I wanna sleep in besides the HOH. So I'm super pumped. What went through your mind when you found out they were doing another All-Stars? I mean, what makes All-Stars just so much better? And it's how awesome is it that they're doing it again for the first time in a long time? So when I first got the call, I definitely wasn't a yes immediately. I had to process the information for about, I think it was like two or three weeks. I processed wow. the information and I was a maybe. I told them, put me down as a maybe because I had to think about it. And I had to think about what I would go into this All-Stars cast with if I could win, because it's going to be harder than ever. It's my fourth time playing. So I'm going to be a huge target if I even had a chance at winning. So there was a lot of a lot of thoughts and I had to process it. And then I thought, I thought to myself, gosh, I don't want to live life saying no to All-Stars. I want to say, I want to go for it. And I want to play my hardest that I've ever played and give it my all. What do you want to prove to everybody, to the audience and to the fellow players? Something that I want to prove is you can do anything at any age. I am 40 now, so I'm older than, you know, it's been 15 years since my very first season. Um, you can be just as good as a competitor and a game player 15 years after your very first season. What message do you have to your fellow house guests who you haven't met yet? What do they need to watch out for? Watch out for me. I am, I'm sweet to your face, but I'm telling you this time, it's gonna be a little bit trickier. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Given that it's all stars, you guys are coming off of, again, the pandemic, this being a crazy time in our country. Yes. It's political, it's an election year. Mm -hmm. What do you think the vibe in the house will be like? Could this be the most intense season ever? 
I absolutely think this could be the, the best and most intense season ever. I mean, our country is on high alert, like things are happening that are, it's going to make the history books. So this is an exciting, exciting time. This is going to be the best season of Big Brother ever.